Welcome back to the Solutions Manual. In this video, we will solve the problem 7 6 from RC Hibaler Engineering Statics 12 edition. According to this problem, we have to determine the internal normal force, shear force, and moment at point C in the simply supported beam. Now, to solve this problem, first of all, we have to find the support reactions. So, the point A is pin supported. So I have a vertical support reaction and a horizontal support reaction. The point B is roller supported. So I have a vertical support reaction. Let's label them. So this right here is AX and this is AY. And let's call this BY. Furthermore, we have to find the resultant of this rectangular distributed loading that looks something like this. It has a height of 4 kN per meter and a length of 6 meters. So the resultant would be the area of this triangle. So 1 upon 2, the base which is 6 into the height which is 4. Resultant of this triangular distributed loading comes out to be 12 kN. And now we have to find the location of this resultant force. So the location of this resultant force is one third of base from thicker end of this triangle and this is the thicker end of the triangle so it is 1 over 3 of base of the triangle which is 6 so 2 meters from the thicker end So this is the location of the triangular distributed loading of magnitude 12 kN and at the location of 2 meters from the thicker end. So now we can apply our equations of equilibrium to find these support reactions. So my first equation would be summation of moments at point A equals to 0. I am considering the counterclockwise direction as positive. The line of action of AX and AY is passing through the point A. So they don't have any moment arm with respect to the point A. So AX and AY will not produce any moment about point A which is serving as a pivot point. This 12 kN force is trying to rotate the beam in clockwise direction about point A. So the moment produced by this 12 kN force will be taken as negative. So negative 12 and the moment arm is 2 meter. The BY is trying to rotate the beam in counterclockwise direction about point A. So the moment produced by the BY will be taken as positive. So positive BY into 6 equals to 0. So upon simplification BY comes out to be 4 kN. Now for Ax we can do summation of forces in x direction equals to 0. I am considering the right hand side as positive. So we just have a single horizontal force which is the support reaction Ax. So Ax is 0. Now for Ay we can do Summation of forces in the y direction equals to 0. I am considering the up direction as positive. So we have Ay plus By minus Fr equals to 0. So when I substitute the values Ay plus By which is 4 and the Fr is 12. We had calculated earlier. 
equals to zero. So from here, a y comes out to be eight kilonewtons. So these are our support reactions. Now we have to find the internal normal force, shear force, and moment at point C. So I'm going to make a section at the point C. And if we just consider the right hand side of the section, the right hand side would look something like this. Let me draw it for point C. Have the section from C to B. On top, we have a triangular distributed loading. So at point B, I have the vertical support reaction BY. At the point C, I have a normal force. I have a shear force, which I'm assuming in a downward direction. And I also have an internal bending moment, which I'm considering as clockwise. Let's label them. So this right here is BY. This is VC. This is NC and this is the internal moment M. Now, one more thing that we have to consider here is that the height of this triangular distributed loading at the point C is not 4 kN per meter. It will be different. So, let's call this X kN per meter. And the length of this section C to B is 3 meters. So now we have to find the value of x. So for x, so we have a larger triangle which is let's say A, B and D and then we have a similar smaller triangle which is C, B and let's call this E. So if I draw these two similar triangles, they would look something like this. So this is A, this is B, this is C, this is D and this is E. This is X, this is 4 kN per meter and this is 3 meters and this is 6 meters. So now we can use the ratios of the similar sides. So we have AD upon AB equals to CE over CB. So when I put the values, I would have AD is 4 divided by AB which is 6 equals to CE which is X over CB which is 3 meters. So X comes out to be 2 kN per meter. Again, we have to find the resultant for this distributed loading, which has a height of 2 kN per meter and the length of 3 meters. So again, we are going to do the same. We are going to find the area of this distributed loading, which is on the segment C to B. Let's call this FR dash is equals to 1 upon 2. The base is 3 and the height is X, which we have calculated as 2. So FR dash comes out to be 3 kN. And now for the location of this FR dash, location of FR dash is equals to again one third of base from thicker end. And this is the thicker end. So it would be 1 over 3 of base which is 3, it means 1 meters from 
ठीक है नाइट सो इफ आई ड्रॉ दी एफ आर डैश इट वुड लुक समथिंग लाइक दिस दिस इज दी एफ आर डैश एंड इट इज एट अ डिस्टेंस ऑफ वन मीटर्स फ्रॉम दी थिकर एंड so again we have to apply our equations of equilibrium let me zoom out so my first equation of equilibrium would be summation of moments at point c equals to 0 i am considering the counter clockwise direction as positive so the line of action of the nc and vc are passing through the point c so they will not produce any moment about point c because they don't have any moment arm with respect to the point c which is serving as a pivot point but i have to include this internal bending moment at the point c which i have taken as m and m is directed in the clockwise sense so i would take it as negative this fr dash is trying to rotate the beam the section of this beam in clockwise direction about point c so the moment produced by this fr dash would be taken as negative Negative F R dash, and the moment arm is this one meter distance. The B Y is trying to rotate the segment of the beam in counterclockwise direction, so the moment produced by the B Y will be taken as positive, and the moment arm is three meter distance, equals to zero. so when i substitute the values i have negative m minus fr dash which is 3 into 1 plus by and by we had as 4 kN so 4 into 3 equals to 0 so from here m comes out to be 9 kN meter so this is our first answer for nc i can do summation of forces in x direction equals to 0 i am going to consider the left hand side as positive i just have a single horizontal force which is the nc so nc is equals to 0 so this is our second answer and for the vc i am going to do summation of forces in the y direction equals to 0 i am considering the up direction as positive so we have negative vc plus by minus fr dash equals to 0 so when i substitute the values i have negative vc plus by which we had calculated as 4 kN minus fr dash which is 3 kN equals to 0 so from here vc comes out to be 1 kN and this is our third answer so this is it for this problem i hope you will find this video helpful if you do please make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates and if you have any questions or any doubts about the free body diagrams or the resultant of the distributed loadings or the allocations then feel free to ask in the comment section and i will answer it as soon as possible to learn more about the hebeler internal forces problems i have a link on the top right corner of this video and i will also leave the play link of the playlist in the description so you can check that out as well thank you